Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2017 with our parallel playthrough of the Tour de France 2017 and we have made it all the way to stage 20. The second to last stage is an individual time trial which looks pretty flat apart from this little hill. And um, that's a weird choice to have that in, you ask, and I say, yeah, it's, it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. And even more so in the real world um, counterpart of this stage profile, as you see on screen right now. It is a climb of 110 meters uh, in height difference. So that is... It's a little biter. It looks pretty steep in the real world profile, and I don't know if they entirely modeled it this way in the game because there seems to be the step in there, which I don't know if the real world counterpart actually has. But anyway, uh, we don't have any good uh, time trialers in on our team anymore, if I might add, because uh, they they basically died. They have worked so much for our team, both of these time trial riders, that they they are ready to to be tossed into the garbage bin um, after this tour is done. They definitely need to buy a few new legs and whatnot. Uh, probably a new heart as well. Um, anyway, uh, freshness bad, 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 bad. But for Quintana and Alejandro Valverde, it's still good. And we have a race day condition bias of plus three and plus one. And Valverde is in sixth place so far. And that probably won't change much. I hope we are not going to lose too much time today, but he seems to be in decent shape right now. So let's hope for the best. And of course, if you if you look at the overall current standings, Richie Port, he is the best time trialer too, so I doubt anything will happen. Uh, unless he crashes horribly on the last stage, there is no way to dethrone him anymore. But we shall see what the race holds. The 2017 Tour began with a time trial in Dusseldorf, and it finishes with one in Marseille. To all intents and purposes, this 20th stage brings down the curtain on proceedings before tomorrow's procession on the Champs-Élysées. A 23-kilometer route is fast, but the climb to Notre Dame de la Garde will test energy reserves. Nobody can afford a slip-up, especially the man currently in yellow. And our first rider, and <laughs> yeah, one which we have abused quite a lot. Um, just go, go get waters, man, go get water. Uh, he is, oh, is he coming? Yeah, there he is. A minus two race day condition. Uh, he, he won't do much today. No, he won't. So actually, I'm just going to use him in order to gauge what kind of heart rate I'm supposed to ride at. It's mainly flat. The terrain, let's see how steep this is. Oh! This is actually really steep. This is a little biter. Oh, okay, beyond 10% there for this little hill. So I will definitely need to save up some energy before I go into this one and then just full force up there. Um, yeah, probably need to save something like one fifth of all the energy um, should be spent on this hill, maybe even one fourth. Uh, because the rest is flat and easy going. So our testing guinea pig is now moving into the climb. 5%. Oh, okay. 7, 8, 11, 8, 18. There was a brief section of 18%. And... Stays beyond 10. Flattens out. Okay. That's just for this little corner. And then goes up once again to 12. That's pretty brutal. Yeah, that is really brutal. 14, 15% and then across here and then down. Okay, that is good to know. And our second time trial is off. Let's see how he does. We just leave him on automatic. I mean, he, he can't really win anything anyway. So he tends to go at around 171, 172. So if we ride at 170 instead with Valverde and Quintana, uh, then we should be able to save up some energy, some additional energy for the climb. So if we take him to 75 here, 
Ed is going harder than he really wants to, but that should give us a little bit of an advantage. And we can easily make up for that in the downhill to come. And there comes the acceleration. Vroop. And now that we're at speed, we can go back down to 65 and easily save up the energy once again. Last kilometer, we can hammer, hammer home. Hammer home! Accelerate! Yes! And we're third. <laughs> he came third. Not bad, not bad for a tortured soul. Alright, next up by um, our team he is Little Quintana. And, hmm, he doesn't have much time trial in his name. No. No, 60 plus 1. Uh, that doesn't help much. 46 seconds behind on the first one. Wow, that's really slow. But now we are moving into the climb, and I sh shall set it to 80 and see what he can do with this. The riders are in a portion above 10%. Yeah, from an energy standpoint, this is pretty much perfect. So now we've used more energy than uh, we have. And how much time did he get? Ah, oh, okay. So if we double this, this would be 1 minute 30. So we basically got tw 23 seconds from the climb itself. Yeah, pretty good management with the energy and he loses his last bar there. Perfect. And he came in 40 seconds, just 1 minute and 24 seconds behind. Well, considering that he has a time trial skill of 61 right now, that isn't all that bad. And next up is one of our best helpers, and he sure looks pretty strong today. Race day condition plus two, time trial 77 now, and he's really good in the hills and mountains, of course. So yeah, that, that is something we can use. Set him at 70, let him ride, save some energy, and then go hard in the hill. First time, he's behind 25 seconds. He's really moving pretty fast up here. Well, now he's slowed down to crawl, of course, but uh, cross the line up there. And he's in fourth. 22 seconds behind. That's quite impressive. So this strategy seems to be working. And the final kilometer, we could have even gone harder, it seems. Yes, okay, we didn't even use all the energy. And he's in third. Wow. Okay. Uh, that seems to be working really well, so maybe we don't even have to save that much energy, because this final bit is slightly downhill on average. But now for the important parts. Our two riders. Okay, here we go. So Valverde, oh, he has a plus three race day condition. Yes, yes, yes. So time trial 76 today. Flat rating of 77 and resistance rating of 82. That is super important. All right, uh, I think I'm going to do the following. I set him not at 70 like we did with the others, but rather at 72. Um, I think he can s save energy even that way. And there we have Quintana and he has a plus one. Fortunately, a plus two to time trial and a plus three to resistance. That is good but maybe not good enough. Let's see how it pans out. Here we are going to do the exact same thing, but he's slightly weak in time trial, so I don't know if I want to um, set him all the way up to 72. Let's try 71 with him and let him ride. And next up will be Valverde at the hill. Oh well, first he needs to have a time and 19 seconds behind. I think that might be pretty good. Across the line, 28 seconds already. Ooh. That's a lot. But he's also saving loads of energy here. And yeah, maybe he needs to accelerate slightly. And now I, I rather save it for the for the hill. Because he's so damn good up the hill. So next up, Valverde at the hill. Uh, let's time this pr appropriately. Right before there, when it's still flat, we just push it to 80 and jump up the mountain. So there. Accelerate, Valverde. Yes. All power up the hill. This you can do it, mate. Dreadful percentage. Now I just need to make sure that I don't miss Quintana. How far does he have left? Not much. But Valverde will be crossing the line first, it seems. There we go. Continue. Accelerate. Yes. Very well. And now we set it to 75. I think that was pretty much optimal. 
Now the same goes for Quintana and no, not Nibali, uh, Quintana it was, and set him to 80. And oh, by the way, we needed to check what time he had. I almost forgot about that. Fifth, and it's 23 seconds only off the mark. That isn't too terrible, especially considering that Tony Martin already is in the finish and he has set the best time, obviously. I mean, what did you expect? Quintana is working hard. Maybe accelerate a little bit more. There we go. And he's across. And he has lost 37 seconds, so he was really fast up this hill. Oh, Nibali has gotten the fastest time. Valverde is moving towards the finish. Looking good with the energy. And he needs to lose his final bar here. Yes, perfect. Yes, there we go. And he finished in fourth. Not bad, just 22 seconds behind. Oh, Tom Dumoulin did set the new time record. Oh, damn it. Six seconds faster than Nibali, even. And Quintana is moving hard towards the finish. Where will he end up? Come on, accelerate! Sprint! Boom! 13th. Only 39 seconds lost on this stage. That also is very good for him. And there we have Chavez. Where did Chavez plays? 15th. Okay, he has lost time. And here we have Richie Port. And Bardet. Okay, Bade is coming in. He is not doing too well. Well, we didn't expect much better. He's not a good time trial after all. But let's um, focus on Richie Port, our favorite to win the tour. How will he be doing? He was two seconds behind on the first split. He was first on the second. I think he will completely crush the, com uh, the not composition, but rather the uh, competition. And he's already coming across the line, and he has shattered the best Whoa, time. We've just seen a great well, I wouldn't he's call that shattered, but um, it's not shat either. And there we have it. That was the last uh, last big stage here. Alejandro Valverde managed to get into the top tra 10 in the time trial. And um, our best helper, helper guy is actually pretty amazing, got 7th. And Quintana managed to get 14th, not too bad. So overall, not much has happened in the general class. Oh shit! No, there has something has happened. Tom Dumoulin, of course, he was much faster than Quintana, so Quintana has actually dropped to fifth place. Uh, bummer. Uh, and that's quite the margin. Yeah, he was exactly 39 seconds faster than Quintana. And how much time did he get on him? 35 seconds. Yep, yeah, that is smaller than 39. That explains it. In the points jersey, Alejandro Valverde has actually been moving up to second place and is, well, we still need to get rid of this guy, but once we do, um, yeah, then we can get some more points and uh, actually win this thing, but no, that won't happen. So I think that is all for today, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.